Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm FPL Roo, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at World Cup Fantasy, looking back at my round of 16 team, and then looking forward to the quarterfinal games and what team I will be selecting. Uh, if you're new around here, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be releasing more World Cup Fantasy videos and FPL videos um, very soon. So yeah, stay tuned to make sure that you basically win your winning mini leagues and climb the ranks. Um, so today I'm wearing... England's 1996 Euros top away kit um, in prep for the game over the weekend. Hopefully we can do the business against France. So we start off with my round of 16 team. So I had Diego Costa in goal, um, Portugal, who who did win and score six goals, but they conceded against Switzerland. I always had Lloris, who conceded in literally the last second of the game. So annoying. Um, it was a penalty. Lewandowski pulled it away. So imagine he saved that. It could have been a clean sheet and um, a penalty save. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, we'll go on to the defence. So Harry Maguire, clean sheet. Very happy with that. Um, I'm sure he will score a bullet header at some stage in this tournament. He's been so close recently. And even the first game against Iran, he, he should have got one. Um, so, yeah, I'm just hopeful we can do that. Do that soon while I've got him in my team. Next up, we've got Nicholas Otamendi. So no clean sheet against Australia, but he did get an assist for Messi's um, lovely goal. Um, yeah, pretty gutted with that result. Um, I was rooting for Australia as I am in here in Australia, and I did go to watch it um, live at a kind of pub in, in Melbourne. So yeah, gutted with that result, but yeah, happy with Otamendi's clean sheet. I also had Marquinhos. So Brazil did fail to keep a clean sheet. Um, they they did end up beating Korea 4-1, but yeah, not able to keep that clean sheet, which is disappointing. Um, it was a good goal that Korea scored and um, most yeah happy for them, happy for Son, but um, yeah, disappointed of not getting a clean sheet. I always had Fia Hernandez on the bench with one point and um, Sandro, who didn't play for Brazil. But as I'm here in Australia... The game was at like 2 two a.m. or 6 a.m. I can't remember exactly which one. So I wasn't able to see the, the lineups because I was fast asleep. So, yeah, a little bit annoying with, with that one. Next up, we've got the, the midfield. So start off with Bruno Fernandes. Um, I'm happy with the with the returns, but, yeah, not happy that they scored six and all you got was an assist and a key pass. Um, yeah, I'd be hopeful we'd get at least a goal or a couple of assists. So happy with the points, but at the same time, should have got more. Um, next up is Hakim Ziyech. So Morocco beat beat Spain. I actually did fancy them to get through. Um, they won on penalties. And yeah, but Ziyech, the game finished nil-nil, so no no returns for Ziyech. Um, next up, we've got Saka. Yeah, 10 points. Yeah, really happy with that. Um, England beat Senegal 3-0. Saka got a goal and a clean sheet. So, yeah, happy with, with the 10 points there. And next up was Olmo, um, Spain against Morocco. But again, again, finished nil-nil. So, um, yeah, no points for him there. Uh, the strike force, again, carrying me. Um, Mbappe, 15 points. Absolutely got it. I didn't captain in. So I had it on Messi and I actually tweeted, should I change? What does everyone reckon? Um, some people said, yeah, go Mbappe, go Richarlison. Um, I kind of just forgot <laughs> almost about the um, yeah, about the France game because England England were later on that day. So I was kind of just concentrating on on focusing on like the in England game. Um, so going to bed early just to make sure I could get up and watch it. And I just, yeah, completely forgot about Mbappe. Um, but yeah, I did get his 15 points. So again, it's not the end of the world. And yeah, Messi, like I said, a goal against Australia, um, seven points with that one. And yeah, two shots on target. But I did end up changing it from Messi to Richarlison, um, who did get more points than Messi. He ended up getting nine points, so double out 18 points. Uh, with a goal, he won a penalty and shots on target, two shots on target. So yeah, um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Got it, it's not Mbappe, but um, yeah, you can't you can't win them all. Ended up on 72 points, so um, pretty average, I'd say. And, yeah, just looking forward to the next round of games. And, um, and yeah, you'll see with my team, I've tried to be 
a little bit different. Um, let's say, let's say, yeah, hopefully you'll be in for a surprise. So now we'll look at my match day five and quarter final team. Um, yeah, I've made a few a few changes before the deadline. So um, with my transfers from the last last sixteen, the round of sixteen. So um, I'll just name them out as I go through. So I did take out Lloris and I've gone for Allison. Um, with Croatia at home, Brazil do have on paper probably the easiest game in the quarterfinals. Um, and it, and like when I say that, I don't mean to be disrespectful, as there is no easy game in the World Cup quarterfinals. But um, if you had to pick out of the teams remaining, you probably want to play Croatia. Um, and yeah, I think Brazil's defense do look pretty good, so I'm hoping, um, hoping for a clean sheet in that game. I've also got on my bench. I've got Costa from Portugal, um, who I do think have the second best fixture going against Morocco. Um, so yeah, if Alisson doesn't do the business, I can bring in, I can bring in um, Costa. And it it was yeah, obviously with the goalkeepers, it's you have to have. Um, so especially for me, so as I'm in Australia, um, the games are on at like two a.m. or six a.m. So I can't really, I can't really change, change players during that time because because I'm asleep basically. So when the game, the first game finishes, say it finishes at four. And the next game starts at six. I can't. I don't really have the time to do that. So I needed keepers that played on a different day. Um, so yeah, that's why I've gone gone for Allison and took out Larice because Larice was the same day as Costa. Uh, next up, we've got the defense. So I have brought in Dumfries. Um, so against Argentina, I think the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands will lose, but I think there's always a chance Dumfries will get an attack in return. As I don't, I don't think the, the Argentinian defence is amazing. Um, although I have gone for one of the defenders um, in Otamendi, um, I just feel I just feel that game will be low scoring. I'm hoping they both can get attacking returns, really. Um, to partner them, I've gone for a double up in defence for Brazil with Marquinhos against Croatia. Um, yeah, I, do, I just fancy Brazil to get the clean sheet. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying they'll batter Croatia, but... Uh, yeah, I really fancy them to to get the clean sheet. Um, I'm not sure Croatia have a load of goals in them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure they have a load of goals in them, but yeah, I do, I do fancy Brazil to keep them out. Um, on the bench, I have Theo Hernandez, who has England, and Harry Maguire, who has France. Um, yeah, we'll bring them in if any of my defenders don't do that great or any of my the rest of my team doesn't do that great. I kind of gone for Fia Hernandez because he's five million. I've kept him in. Uh, Maguire as well, kept in him. I feel like a bullet head is coming soon for Maguire. Um, but yeah, one of my possible transfers, which I might do, is Hernandez out because France haven't kept a clean sheet so far in the tournament. And with England's attacking assets, I feel like that could be the same in this game. Um, but I'll talk about that at the end of my um, my team reveal. So next up, we'll go on to the midfield. I did bring in Paqueta. Um, so oh, I had an Omo for Spain who who did get knocked out. So, yeah, I brought in Paqueta for him. Um, I'm not really too confident of, of any attacking returns for him, but um, I just want to load up on Brazil, to be honest. I think they'll win it. Um, I thought that from the start. Um and yeah, just kind of, I just want to, yeah, just load up on him. Um, he did get a goal last time out, but um, with with like the attacking options for this game are are terrible, um, which is why I've gone for say Bruno Fernandes, who's my next player in my midfield, who's nine point five million, very overpriced, I think. Um, but there are no, there are no other options really. Um, so yeah, midfield. Don't kind of judge me on why I think it's more like there's no one else to go for. Um, I've gone. I've kept Ziyech as well. Um, I don't fancy Morocco to score. I don't fancy Portugal to concede. Um, so yeah, it's just one of them ones where if they do, then yeah, hopefully Ziyech can be involved. Um, I've also kept Fernandez, Enzo Fernandez for Argentina. Um, I do feel they will win that game. Um, so yeah, again, it's just loading up on players from Brazil, from Argentina, um, because I fancy them to go go far, even though they do play each other next, so that could be tricky. Um, next up in midfield, I've got Saka on the bench. 
Um, hopefully, hopefully he can do the business against France if one of my other players don't perform. Um, I don't really have the money to go anywhere else, but I could go to Bellingham if Saka doesn't start. So next up, we have the trusty strike force. So I have kept Mbappe. Um, it's kind of like heart, head over heart, really. Um, I hope I hope France don't score. <laughs> um, I hope they flop and I hope they lose. Um, but Mbappe is just unreal. Um, so yeah, that's why I've kept him in. But I will talk about an option that I could go for soon. Um, I've kept Messi in against the Netherlands. Yeah, I think anything they do, anything Argentina do, will come through Messi. Uh, and I fancy him to continue his goal-scoring form throughout the tournament and beat the Netherlands. And I've also kept Richarlison, who will be my captain in the first day. So like I said, I can't I can't really switch between games on the, on the same day. So um, I've gone for Richarlison captain, but I am looking to to play power captain um, in this game just because I can't I can't switch between the games. Whereas the semi final, they're both on separate days, so I can switch. So yeah, I probably play the power captain, but I'll just put it on Richarlison just to just to yeah let people know what I would have gone for. Um, but here here it is. Here's my master plan. Um, or my yeah, or my absolutely bonkers plan. It's up to you what you think. But um, I am strongly considering, like really considering going Mbappe to Neymar and Tia Hernandez to um, Cancelo. So I know this might be England bias, but I feel like France is going to concede. So that's um, Hernandez out the out the question. Um, and I don't feel like England will concede a lot of goals. So this is why I've decided, well, I haven't decided. Um, I just like to let you, yeah, let you know my, my thoughts and hopefully you can leave a comment and let me know if I'm bonkers or I'm a genius. So um, it, it would be Mbappe to Neymar and um, Tia Hernandez to Cancelo. So let me know your thoughts below. Um my thinking behind that is I just want I just want Brazil players. I think they're amazing. I think they're great. I think they can they can score goals against Croatia. Even if they don't, I fancy them to go all the way. I fancy them to beat Netherlands or Argentina. I fancy them to beat whoever they're gonna play in the final if they do win them games. So I really want to load up on that Brazil players and with Neymar back, um providing assists for Charleston, getting goals on penalties. I just really want him in my team and I just fancy him to outscore Mbappe against England because that's like sometimes you just got to put it straight like that. You got to put it in black and white. What do you think Neymar will outscore Mbappe? And I do for this week. Do I think Cancelo will outscore Tia Hernandez? And I do for this week. Um, so I'm likely to be making them transfers. Um, but definitely follow me on Twitter at FPL Roo, um, where I will be posting my team right before the first game, so um, you'll be able to see if I've actually gone for it or not. Um, if, you, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a like um, and subscribe to the channel for more content on FPL, World Cup Fantasy um, within the coming weeks, months, and hopefully years. Um, and yeah, let me know below if you think my plan is bonkers um, or you think it's a good idea and I'm a genius. Um, yeah, but just let me know below.